Now let's go ahead and get into SMB map. As we saw in the in map scan portion, both machines are going to have SMB running on it. So that's port 445. So let's go ahead and use our Metasploitable 2 machine. Let's go ahead and attack that or enumerate that a little bit further. So you may be asking, what is SMB map? It's a powerful command line tool that's designed to navigate the server message block or SMB protocol shares across domains. So it's a go-to tool a lot of pen testers use, that or SMB client, which we'll also cover, and it's used to enumerate shared resources on a network. So SMB, real quick, SMB map, you can do dash dash help, and then you'll see the different options you can use. So just a Samba share enumerator. Let's say you want a little bit more detailed output. You can type in man to view the man pages. It's kind of like the guide to what the tool is, how it works and things like that. So SMB map. And then we see the user commands, synopsis, description, options, all that good stuff. A little bit more detailed. Real quick before we dive into running SMB commands. SMB does come pre-installed on Kali, and to, to run it, you simply just do SMB map, hit enter. You can simply run or type SMB map, followed by various flags and parameters to specify the target and the type of information that you wish to see. We'll do a basic SMB share enumeration. We're just going to specify SMB map, the capital H option against our Metasploitable 2 machine, so 0.2.18. Hit enter, it detected one host serving SMB, established a SMB session. Now for IP 18, 2.18, we see port 445, name of the machine, Metasploitable, status authenticated, so it authenticated to the machine. We see for print, no access, it's a printer drivers, TMP had read write access. Opt, this has no access, IPC, no access admin share no access we saw the tmp share had read write access let's say we want to dig a little bit deeper into that share and enumerate that share a little bit more we'll do smb dash h target ip and then r and then the actual share to recursively scan and see what's in that tmp directory or i mean to see what is in that tmp share so we see we have ice unix orbit msf admin x11 unix and then all these other files, we may we may want to download those files and directories just to see what's in there. Now that we were able to find that the TMP share is open, read, write, we can use SMB client to actually connect to the machine. So it'll be two forward slashes, the IP of the target machine, so 10.0.2.18. And then, of course, the share we want to access. For password, just hit, go ahead and hit enter. Anonymous login successful, we can do an ls. We see the same files and directories. Let's go ahead and go to the orbit msf admin, do an ls. Looks like we got access denied. Of course, SMB client is very similar to SMB map. It allows for interacting with SMB shares just like you would with a native Windows tools. Now, SMB or server message block is a protocol for network file sharing. It allows computers to read and write to files and request services from server programs on a network. SMB client communicates with these protocols to access shared resources, just like accessing the TMP share on our target machine, the Metasploitable 2 machine. Navigating the share is similar to command lines like FTP, the FTP interface. You do ls to list files, cd to change directories, to download or upload files are available. So get, you want to get a file, let's say .ice unix. So it's actually a directory, so we can do, let's see, ice, nothing in there. See if we can go to orbit msf admin, do an ls, access denied, can't get anything from there. So it doesn't look like we can do much or can't get files, but we could upload a file if we wanted to. So let's just do put, let's say our target list in there here. So now if you do an LS, we will see our target list in there. So you wouldn't want to put the vulnerable machines in a directory. You could take advantage of this to upload malicious files that we could execute and potentially get a reverse shell. If we exit out of here, we can also use SMB client to enumerate the target IP. So you'll do a dash L and then the IP 2.18. 
hit enter. Now, same like SMB map, we can enumerate the drives. So print TMP opt IPC admin, and then the work group that it's part of, 